Megan Cubbies. I'm Miss Megan, and we're continuing to talk about how God is in charge. Remember, in charge means that God is the one who tells us what to do. Do we always listen to God and do the things He asks us to do? Unfortunately, we don't. Our story last time talked about the Ten Commandments, ten rules that God gave us to follow so that we know what God wants us to do. Commands one, two, three, and four tell ways to love God. Commands five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten tell ways to love each other. God gave us these rules because God is in charge. Can you say that with me? God is in charge. Now, before we hear our story today, I think we need to call our very special friend, Cubby Bear. So, on the count of three, will you call him with me? One, two, three, Cubby! Hello, Cubby Bear. There we go. Thank you for joining us today, Cubby. Cubby, you have brought us something very interesting for our clue today, yes. I think it's a jar, but I wonder what's inside that jar. Is it apple juice? Mm, no. Is it honey? No. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess we'll have to hear our story to find out. Let's sing our Cubby song first. singing cubbies, God loves to hear you sing, and He tells us that in His very special book, the Bible. The Bible also has the Ten Commandments written in here, and God gave us these rules because God is in charge. Let's hear another story from God's book, the Bible, and maybe we'll find out what's in this little jar. After many years of wandering in the desert, the Israelites were finally living in the land that God had promised them, the land of Canaan. They promised to obey God's commands in their new land. And at first they tried, but then something very sad happened. They forgot about God and all the good things He had done for them. They disobeyed all of God's Ten Commands. And after a while, they told God they didn't want Him to be their king anymore. The Israelites said, give us a man to be our king. All the other lands have men as kings, so why should we? Why shouldn't we? God was still the true king, but He decided to give them the kind of king that they wanted. He chose a man named Saul to be the first king of the, of the, of the Israelites. Saul looked like a king. He was the tallest of the people. He looked good on the outside, but something was wrong with Saul on the inside. King Saul didn't want to obey God's commands, so God said he could not stay king for very long. God would find a different king. God told a man named Samuel where to find the new king. Samuel, God said, go and visit a father named Jesse in the town of Bethlehem. I have picked one of his sons to be king. Samuel says Jesse's first son, Eliab. He was the tallest and oldest. He looked like a king. This must be the one, thought Samuel. But God said, no, he's not the one. He may look like a king on the outside, but I look at on the like I look at the heart on the inside. God wanted a king who had love and obey him. Samuel saw Jesse's second son, and God said, no, he's not the one. Samuel saw Jesse's third son, and, and God said, no, he's not the one either. Samuel saw the fourth son, the fifth son, the, the sixth son, and the seventh son. God hasn't chosen any of them to be king. Do you have any more sons, Samuel asked Jesse. Yes, there is one more, Jesse said, but he's watching the sheep. He's the youngest of all. 
Bring him here, said Samuel. When the youngest son, David, walked in, the Lord told Samuel, he is the one. Really, thought Samuel, could the youngest and probably the smallest son really be the next king? Yes, David would love and obey the Lord, and that's just the kind of king God wanted. Samuel poured oil on David's head. In the Bible, that's what people did before someone became king. When David grew up, he would become the next king of Israel. David wasn't perfect, but God knew he wanted to love and obey the Lord. Bye. Wow, that was amazing. God chose a young boy, David, to be the king. And God chose David because he loved God and he obeyed God's commands. And we found out that there's oil in this jar. The oil in our story was special because Samuel used it to anoint David. And this was a way to show that God had chosen David to be king. The Bible tells us that David wanted to love and obey God. Cubbies, do you want to love and obey God? Our verse this week talks about that. It's found in Mark 12, verse 30, and it says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. That means you should love God with every part of you, everything you think and feel and do. So let's do these actions together to help us remember. When we say God, let's point up. And then when we say heart, let's put our hands over our heart. When we say soul, let's put our hands on the other side of our chest like this, because our soul is inside of us too. When we say mind, point to your head. And when we say strength, you gotta flex your muscles for me. Okay, let's say it all together with the actions. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark 12 verse 30. Let's say it again. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark 12 verse 30. Boys and girls, we need help loving God like this. And God sent his son Jesus to help us with that. When we trust Jesus, he will help us love our heavenly father and he will also help us love others. Let's pray and thank God for sending his son Jesus to help us. Dear Lord, we thank you for sending your son Jesus. Thank you that he helps us to love you. He helps us to love others too. We love you so much. In your name we pray, amen. Thanks for joining me, Cubbies. Bye. small he loves us all boys and girls all around the world lift up your hands now everybody dance are you ready to shout because it's time to get loud i can praise you can praise we can praise jesus i can praise you can praise we can praise jesus i can praise you can praise we can praise jesus Everyone praise Jesus I can praise, you can praise, we can praise Jesus I can praise, you can praise, we can praise Jesus I can praise, you can praise, we can praise Jesus Everyone praise Jesus Him, two can praise him, boys can praise him, girls can praise him, everyone praise Jesus. I 
can praise him, you can praise him, one can praise him, two can praise him, boys can praise him, girls can praise him, everyone praise Jesus. I can praise, you can praise, we can praise Jesus. I can praise, you can praise, we can praise Jesus. I can praise, you can praise, we